Right, we are back. These guys are going out for a fly in a second. We've got a few things to check. We've got some really nice weather, which is good to change. The actual weather's starting to... Um, it is getting hotter. It is what it is. But it um, makes getting these guys up and flying a little bit more difficult. I do avoid flying them first thing in the morning because that's when they get hit by the falcons. So, I, you know, I want to try and sustain my numbers this year. So I generally try and fly them after work. Um, it is, you know... Realistically, the only time I can fly them after work is if we get this nice afternoon sea breeze that comes through, and it seems to work a lot better because if it's hot, they're not overly keen on it. Um, but you know, we've got to do what we can do. I tried the early mornings last year, and it was just too much, too many falcons. Well, it's only the same pair, but they're generally really active in the morning, and they know. So we'll just stick to um, this for now. They're all looking pretty good though. Let's have a quick look at Big Leo here. He's been trying really, really hard, but I don't know how he's going. She's very difficult, this little hen. Um, but, you know, we'll keep chipping away and see. Give them probably another few days and just see if there's any more progress. But at this point, it's pretty slow. But if anyone can do it, it's got to be Big Leo because he's very, well, he's persistent to say the least. So, Hopefully he will sort her out. Well, at least get her interested in actually sort of laying some eggs for me. All right, so now that I'm a little bit more mobile, I've started getting in here and doing a bit of tidying up. Um, I'll tell you what, because back, back pain is not super fun. So what I've done actually just before when I was in here, I gave this a little bit of a quick clean in here and opened up this door for them. Um, just because we paired them in here. They paired up really quickly and easily, so no problem. Um, you can see the hen's not in here. She's... I don't know what she's doing, um, but the cockbird's actually sitting on an egg. So they actually laid an egg. I think she laid one last night. I didn't come out um, after dinner last night because I was just lying down because, you know, a bit sore. So we managed to get an egg, which is really, really good to see um, with this cockbird. This is the one that we actually thought was a hen. So um, let's see if we can get a better look at him. It's actually quite a nice little bird. He does look quite henish, so, you know. I can see the mis yeah, mistake there, but he is, you know, probably because he's a little bit younger, but he's starting to shape out now a little bit better, which is good to see. So we'll keep chipping on with that. I'm hoping she'll get a second egg down tomorrow, and then probably in a week's time, we'll just check them to see if they're fertile, which um, will be really good to see, because then we'll have three pairs, pretty much very similar way bred. So we got, we'll have a nice sample size there. I'm um, still waiting on this hen. He's chasing her pretty hard. There she is there. So I'm hoping soon. She's just very, very slow to lay. And I was hoping to get another round of those babies because the first ones that we sent to Meadow, one loft race, they were really nice babies. Like I, I didn't expect them to come out that good because the parents are pretty scruffy looking. Um, but, yeah, I was pretty happy with that. So we've got um, one of the other boys here. Look at that. He's starting to shape up really nice now too, which is good to see. He's starting to be a real, real nice bird. He actually handles quite well. And, um, you know, we'll see how he goes. The, both those eggs were fertile last time I checked, and they were pretty happy in um, incubating along fine. So um, we should get a whole bunch of babies out very soon. And we've got Big 83 up here. He's sitting on his eggs, and these were fertile last time I checked them too, so that's really good to see. And... Um, He's been a good father as normal. But, continue on. I just love these bigger boxes. These are so much better. So much better than the ones on the other side. Until you get these big boxes, you just don't really appreciate it. So we've got these other little guys in here. You've got, I've actually got some nice dry poos in here, so I'm going to have to get in and do a bit of tidying up with these ones. Um, but it is a long weekend now, being New Year's. So I should have a bit more free time, but... Um, I won't zoom too much in on the ring there, but um, that's one of my rings. We've got that on there. So here we've got two little babies here. Really good to see. And um, a lot of food in there, which is, is what you want to see. Looking like these might be two light checkers or blue bars. I'm still holding on to that. Very faint hope that one of those real black kind of dark checkers come out. He's all friendly. He's trying to get a little bit of food off me. Hey? That's good to see. But, you know... I do have a little baby coming that's been bred for stock for me. That is actually, it's not a Kruger, but um, I'd say something equally as good genetically. 
um, that is a dark checker, like a real, real good dark checker color. It's not bred for the color, but once we get it, we'll, we may go into a bit more about it. But um, And that will be turning up in a few weeks' time, so we'll, you will see that. But um, we'll just keep reading these little guys and see what happens. I just thought the fact that the hen, she's got checker, that it might produce a dark checker. I don't know enough about genetics to understand that, but you can all hold on to a little bit of hope. And here's the big boy here. As he gets older, I just I just get, become more fond of this fella. He's such a nice handling bird. And um, he's a very good temperament too. He's such a character. And we've only got one egg under there, but it is fertile. So I am so eager to see how this little baby turns out. Whose genetics going to be better? Is it going to be storms or is it going to be Apaches? Both those birds produce some. Um, some quite strong genetics there. Why oh, you just flapping feathers and everything over me, alright? Okay. We're out of here. We're gonna continue on. And we're gonna have a look at these guys because I haven't seen them yet since um early yesterday. Oh look at them. What's that's King. He's just keeping a close eye on I me. Mean, he's actually pretty chilled too. So you'll see now that um this one that was really really light is actually starting to darken up quite a lot so you can see it's kind of got that maroney burgundy tinge starting to come through so when we last videoed it it was like a really really pink through here with that tiny one so this one I'd say is going to be a mealy and then this one's going to be a blue so I'd probably say a blue checker or something um, unless it's, it comes out and surprises me but you just look at these little feet here so um, that, that, if so, if that happens, that'll be our first blue from this pairing, which will be quite interesting to see. Um, but this one still could be pied because it's still got these really, really pink light feet with a little bit of coloration on the end. So it's going to be very interesting. And I'll leave you to go back there, big fella. Hop in. Good boy. You're a nice fella, aren't you? All right, so we've got two eggs there. They're both fertile as well. Um, and we'll continue on because there's some surprises here. So these are the first eggs under this pair. Um, the hen, she's already, this is a hen's second round. But I decided to change the cockbirds over because I'm going to um, send the other one off to someone. And just keep one of the cocks because, the, you know, the other one was meant to be a hen. But this guy's really nice. So, um... He's actually a really nice bird. He's a tad crazy. He's got some fire in him. I tell you, he's like, I'm very excited about these babies. Um, but the round that we popped out before from the hen, those ones are at meadow as well. So um, I kind of just, just filled those spots with birds that we had. But these ones hatching, both pretty much at the same time. So that's really good to see. I like it when they sort of come out pretty much on the same day. It's really good to see. A little bit of swap over Judy here, a little storm. I still do like her, she's a good little hen this one. Right, so food trays are in. Just got to get some food in there. Let's see where these guys are up to. Starting to get together. They're sort of just getting their bearings together and then they'll disappear. But that's good, we got 30 up, moving together. Couple little stragglers here and there still, but I reckon I'll get them moving a bit better shortly as well. And uh, while they're up there having a bit of a fly, let's have a little bit of a look. I've weaned out a couple more birds in here as well. So um, there's quite a lot of little babies in here. There should be around about 10 or 11, I think. So um, it's good to see. And there will be more coming in here shortly as well. I have been letting out some of these, so I've got to get them back out probably tomorrow. Um, but I had some other ones we brought in here, like these are all new ones. It's one of Rosetta's ones and 0003. He's there. Um, there's one of the Vanderbilt crosses and there's its nest mate there as well. So um, yeah, we're getting there. I've just had them in here for the last couple of days. These ones and them ones I think come in here yesterday afternoon maybe. Um, there's another one there that's quite nice. That one's a bit older too. So that one's actually been outside. That's started to be trap train. And then we've got a little messy up here as well. Hey buddy, got, it's looking really good. A little bit dirty under there. We've got to give you a bath, I think, this weekend. We've got some hot weather coming, so we'll get the bathtub in there. 
and we've got the two little mealies which are the last round out of Big King so um, yeah, I'm going to hang around and wait for these birds to come down and I'll see you in the next video.